Hello, in this video, we are going to solve an equation 3 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x is equal to 19. So what is x? So let's have a quick look at this equation. Uh, we have 3 to the power of x, 2 to the power of x. So the base are different. So generally, it is challenging to separate x from these numbers and to get the value of x. So here we will use a guess and check strategy. So we start from x is equal to 0, and we have we go back to the original equation. We have 3 to the power of 0 minus 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 0. And it is not equal to 19, so it doesn't work for the equation. Then we try x is equal to 1. We have 3 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 1, and it's not equal to 19. So it, again, it doesn't work. Then we try x is equal to 2. We have 3 to the power of 2 minus 2 square is equal to 5 and it's not equal to 19. So again, it doesn't work. Then we try x equal to 3. We have 3 to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 19. So this time we are lucky and we get one value x is equal to 3 works for this equation and x is equal to 3 is one solution. So the question is, is 3 the only root of the original equation? So to answer this question, we have to have a deeper look at this equation. So we establish a function fx is equal to 3 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x. So 3 to the power of x and 2 to the power of x increase in the range from negative infinity to positive infinity. So if the minus sign here is a plus sign, we have 3 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x. We, will, we can safely think that fx increase in this range. However, right now, here is a minus sign. We have 3 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x. We have no idea how fx change with x in this range. So we will, we will need to look at the derivative of fx. So it's, it is equal to ln3 times 3 to the power of x minus ln2 times 2 to the power of x. Then we let fx prime is equal to 0, and we get a, a value of x. x is equal to log ln3 over ln2 to the base 2 over 3. So we simply take this value as a, and it is estimated as negative 1.1. Now we know x is equal to a, fx prime is equal to 0. x is greater than a, fx prime is positive, fx monotonically increase in this range. When x is less than a, fx prime is negative and fx monotonically decrease in this range. Now we, we, we get a preliminary idea about how the graph of fx looks like. So it's simply like this. And this is fx. And here is the local, it is the local minimum when x is equal to a. So the question is, what are the upper limit on both sides? So, so we have to look at the upper limit. So when x is approaching negative infinity, so what is the limit of fx? So it is equal to 1 over 3. So I look at the function right here. 1 over 3 to the power of positive infinity minus 1 over 2 to the power of positive infinity. So this is going to be 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Then when x is approaching positive infinity, so the limit of fx is equal to 3 to the power of positive infinity minus 2 to the power of positive infinity. Since 3 to the power of x increase faster than 2 to the power of x, so this is going to be 
this is going to be positive infinity. So now we we have this function, we, we have the two upper limit, and then we will be able to determine if there is intersection with the level of 19. So we can make conclusions. When x is greater or equal to a, we have fx prime is positive and fx is equal to 19 has one root because this because has one root. So remember, we have a is negative 1.1. So the a right here. So when x is greater than this value, there is one root. That is 3, as we already know. So when x is less than a, fx prime is negative in the upper limit on the left side when x is approaching negative infinity the limit of fx is zero so there's no intersection of x of x, fx with the level of 19 so there's no rules on this side so x is equal to 3 is the only root of the original equation. Additionally, I have to bring up the uh, graph of fx uh, to make sure that we are getting the correct results. So here is the graph of fx 3 to the power of x minus 2 to the power of x. Say the straight line at the level of 19 has one intersection with, with the graph of, of fx, and there is one root right here, that is 3. So if we zoom in this area, we get the lower graph. So here you say fx decrease in this range and increase in this range as we described. So with that, I have to end this video. Thanks for watching. Don't, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos. I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.